Hey guys, and welcome back to the only channel bringing you BMET tips and tricks to make it through the schoolhouse. In class, we discuss capacitors, capacitive series circuits, and capacitive parallel circuits. The schematic reference for capacitors is C, and the unit of measure is farads. If you recall, we utilized the word Eli to remember the phase relationship between voltage and current in an inductor. Now we are going to use the word ice to memorize the phase relationship for a capacitor. Current leads voltage through a capacitor by 90 degrees. We could also say the reverse is true in that voltage lags current through a capacitor by 90 degrees. Unlike inductors, capacitors have their value stamped on their case. The first digit is the first significant digit, the second digit is the second significant digit, and the third digit is the multiplier. The base value for capacitors is the pico. If we plug the value into a calculator, it will look something like this. 5500000 pico equals, and we should get a value of 550 nano on our screen. Remember, the unit of measure for a capacitor is the farad. It is important to note that when calculating capacitors, utilize reciprocal formula in series and add capacitors in parallel. As we know from previous lectures, a series circuit is a voltage divider and the largest ohmic value will yield the largest voltage drop. This means that the largest ohmic value will determine the condition of the circuit. In the example, we see that our resistive portion of the circuit is 20k ohms and our capacitive portion is 18k ohms. Therefore, we would say that this circuit is mostly resistive. Using Ohm's law, we can determine what happens to an RC series circuit. Just like inductors, we can use couch coffee table, but with one big difference. When frequency or capacitance increases, EC, XC, and ZT are going to decrease. ER and IT will increase. The opposite is true if frequency or capacitance decreases. EC, XC, and ZT will increase. ER and IT will decrease. Parallel circuits are known as current dividers. Therefore, the smallest ohmic value will yield the largest current flow. The component with the smallest ohmic value is dominant and will determine the condition of the circuit. In this circuit, the lowest ohmic value is 4K and it belongs to the capacitor. Therefore, we would call this circuit mostly capacitive. Using Ohm's law, we can determine what happens to an RC parallel circuit when frequency or capacitance changes. In a parallel circuit, we know that voltage is constant. This means that the only values we are concerned with in our couch coffee table are XC, ZT, and IT. With an increase in frequency or capacitance, XC and ZT will go down and IT will go up. Now, if frequency or capacitance decreases, XC and ZT will increase and IT will decrease. That's it for capacitors. Thanks for joining us. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, stay classy and keep your head up.